Hi students, this is in continuation with the uh, ICSE 9th standard uh, sound chapter that we all had started. Okay, uh, so the first topic that we are going to cover today is some of the terms related to wave motion. Uh, these basically terms are amplitude, time period, frequency, wavelength and wave velocity. They are common to the study of wave motion, oscillation and uh, uh, stationary waves that you all will study in the higher classes and uh, today also the, on a very basic level we will under, uh, try to understand this and then the, the next part is the relationship between wavelength velocity uh, wave velocity that is and the frequency and the uh, uh, next uh, the last part for this video is speed of the sound in different media okay so let's quickly start get on with the first parameter that is the amplitude now when I say the amplitude it is the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position okay let us understand what do you mean by the mean position and the extreme position you all might have seen in a pendulum i would say see a pendulum is connected like this uh, currently if the pendulum is in a stationary state or it is in an equilibrium i would say uh, this position okay when the, when the pendulum is in equilibrium or it is in a rest position this position will be called as its mean position now i slightly give it a displacement okay let us say the maximum displacement happens still over here and for this on on this side it happens over here then this particular maximum displacement that will happen now this is the extreme position this is the mean position this is the another extreme position the maximum displacement that takes place will be nothing but called as the amplitude of the wave this you all can also might have experienced this in uh, you know whenever you go to some mela or some kind of uh, fun fair i would say you will have this one giant ship you know it, it resembles basically a pendulum only wherein the people sit in that and then that that boat goes on to the one side and then again it goes on to the another side you know it is something same like that so whenever that boat is in an equilibrium it is in a rest position uh, that will be its mean position and from when it goes from here to one side and then to the other side that will be nothing but called as the extreme position and that the maximum displacement that takes place that will be nothing but called as the amplitude of the wave but to understand it in terms of wave motion uh, let us see this uh, this is nothing but a transverse wave that we are considering okay so from here it is the mean position and these things these two are the um, extreme positions okay so the maximum displacement that so the, when the particle starts vibrating so to the point maximum where it will reach okay that is over here it is reaching uh, on to the one position and while coming back over here in the downward again it will vibrate to this maximum displacement yes so this particular this maximum displacement is nothing but called as the amplitude of the wave denoted by the symbol a okay and it's uh, si unit since it is nothing but a displacement the unit will be nothing but meter okay next let's quickly go to the next parameter that is time period of the wave time period as the name suggests it is the time required by the wave to complete one vibration okay so it is nothing but the time needed it is denoted by the symbol t since it's time it will be measured in terms of uh, our always most favorite unit that is seconds okay and uh, it is denoted by the yeah I have mentioned this capital letter T uh, the next term nothing much to talk about in this uh, in time period as, uh, as far as time period is concerned uh, next is frequency now frequency is a very interesting concept it is a number of vibrations that will happen in one second okay let's get this let's talk about this in more in detail if you see in our school how many times a physics class happens let's for example say four classes happen in one week okay so 
any particular event which repeats itself after equal intervals of time that particular time interval we will call it uh, that particular time how many times it is repeating yeah that we will be calling it as frequency like like physics classes four times in one week it happens let's say there is um, another like uh, you have your physical education or your sports periods okay though these will be in a lesser number like two times you all will go to play on a on the ground yeah so that, that will happen two times in a day library uh, two times in a week sorry and library is once or twice again in one week yeah so any particular event which repeats itself after equal intervals of time is nothing but called as frequency and frequency is denoted by the symbol uh, there are many uh, sim uh, there are more, uh, two three symbols used to denote frequency uh, the most common is f then n and there is another symbol to it that is nu so this is just pay attention it is nu okay and it is the stylish way of writing a v kind of uh, letter that is a greek letter basically so it is denoted by frequency but obviously frequency the unit for it is hertz also sometimes we say cycles per second or rotations per second but the most commonly used unit is freak, uh, hertz just remember this next is the the next parameter is wavelength okay wavelength is nothing but the distance traveled by the wave okay so when we are studying about wavelength uh, distance travel means what okay let us understand this the distance traveled by the wave in one time period is nothing but called as one wavelength okay so pay attention here this is a crest and this is a trough we all know this now in a transverse wave yeah so this distance the distance covered by the wave so this much for the wave to travel this much distance how much time it will take it will take one time period that is it will take t time okay so this particular distance will be nothing but called as wavelength and yes it is denoted by this symbol called as lambda l-a-m-b-d-a okay it is denoted by the symbol lambda again but obviously since it is a distance it with a SI unit for wavelength is nothing but meters only now wavelength uh, to understand wavelength in a much better manner okay uh, pay attention here it is also the distance can you all i hope you all can see these two different colors that i have used it is also the distance between the two consecutive points consecutive points ka matlab kya hai yahan pe can you see this is the top of the crest yeah and here also there is one crest over here so the consecutive points if you see after this crest which is the point which when will the again crest happen but obviously the crest will take place over here again after this crest similar position is happening over again over here yeah so this distance I'm sorry about these two points this uh, distance will be nothing but all can also be called as wavelength lambda and similarly again for trough over here this distance will be also called as wavelength lambda I hope you all understood this uh, the next and the last parameter is the wave velocity the wave velocity as the name suggests it is the distance traveled by the wave in one second yeah we all know the definition of velocity the distance traveled by distance travel upon time so same here only over here we need to understand it is not the particle that is traveling it is the energy that is being carried out so the energy with the velocity with which the energy travels that will be nothing but called as wave velocity uh, the unit for it is our normal unit meters per second that's it uh, as for as the parameters are concerned uh, let's quickly go to the next part in this we will be studying about relationship between wavelength wave velocity and uh, frequency okay now we all know 
the distance traveled by the wave in one uh, time period is nothing but called as wavelength so this is the distance traveled by the wave in one second okay so now i will write this lambda uh, uh, rather i have written lambda as the distance okay now we know the normal formula of distance what is the normal formula of distance distance is equals to velocity into time yeah this, is a, this we have studied many a times okay now but in the terms of discussion when we are talking about waves what will what will be the distance called as it will be obviously called as wavelength lambda yeah so lambda is equal to this wave velocity v into the time period that we had studied that is t okay now pay attention time period is nothing but reciprocal of frequency okay time period kya hota hai the formula for time period is 1 upon f so this formula we will be putting it over here that is v into 1 upon f okay this is lambda so v is equals to f into lambda okay this is a very 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 important relation students please understand we will be needing this formula many a times even in our 10 standards also so kya hai ye formula wave velocity is equals to frequency multiplied by wavelength very very important okay uh, next and the last part of this video is the speed of the sound in different medium now please understand can you guess the speed of the sound will be fastest where but obviously the speed of the sound is fastest in solids and the second uh, and the second fastest in liquids and the least in gases now why quickly let's understand we have studied in the previous class how sound travels we all know that sound travels in the form of longitudinal waves and the energy is propagated from one particle to another particle now basically the speed of sound depends most importantly on the elasticity of the medium and the density of the medium okay now right now when we are in ninth standard elasticity and all we need not get into that it's a higher class term which we will be studying but very in a very small way elastic what do you mean by elastic you take a rubber band okay a very simple example elastic cut into two and you pull it and you leave it what will happen it will come back to its own position okay now can you imagine this particular thing happening in liquids and gases impossible yeah so which will be more elastic in nature but obviously the solids are the most elastic yeah so here why why we need why the elasticity is needed let us understand that first so now the energy is propagated from this particle to this particle let's say so now once this particle gives the energy to this particle what has to happen this particle has to come back to its mean position if you remember we had studied this in the last class yes so this will happen only in solids and it happens the fastest are you all understanding this hence solid travels fastest in solids second uh, a, little, a little slower in liquids and the least in gases there are many examples to this if you all might have seen the people who live near the railway tracks okay they will understand if they have to walk on the railway track they will first put their ears on the railway track and they will see if the train is approaching or not or or if there is any train coming on this track how they will understand because although the train is very far yeah but when if it when it starts moving on that particular track what will happen that that railway track will give on the will pass on the vibrations to the railway track and then they will keep on moving from that railway track and if we put an ear to that railway track we'll be able to hear that sound okay uh, in our textbook the values that there is a table given for the different velocities of the sound in different media like solid liquids and gases I would suggest we do not have to by heart any of those values but uh, the velocity of sound in air okay uh, this value we will be needing it in the next class actually it is 320 to 340 
meters per second but obviously uh, this value also will be given to us in the exam in the in the in the particular numerical if it is needed and uh, but obviously for sound or gas if anything as per the numerical it will be given to us okay i hope you all understood this video if you have any comments queries please put it in the comment section do subscribe to my channel if you are watching this video for the first time thank you